<laughs> Amsum was reading his favorite comic late at night. Oh. His eyelids grew heavy, his head began to nod, and before he knew it, he had fallen asleep with the book still open. The next morning, he wondered, why do we need to sleep? Determined to find out, Amsum shrank and entered his own body. He landed inside huh? the brain, where millions of nerve cells were glowing and sending messages in all directions. <laughs> but after a long day, Amsum noticed that the signals were slowing down and the brain looked tired. Waste materials from all the activity were piling up between the brain cells, making everything sluggish. Huh? Suddenly, the lights in the brain began to dim. The hypothalamus, a special control center, had released chemicals that made the brain ready for rest. Amsum watched as melatonin, the sleep hormone, spread through the bloodstream, calming everything down. During this quiet phase, special cleaning cells began to sweep away the waste that had built up during the day. He then huh? visited the muscles and organs. They too were taking a break. The heart slowed its rhythm, the breathing softened, and cells everywhere began repairing tiny damages. Proteins were being rebuilt, energy was being restored, and the body was quietly getting stronger. Leaping back outside, Aumsum <laughs> smiled proudly. Aumsum was lying in bed when the lights suddenly went out. Huh? The room turned black and every object appeared scarier. His heart began to race, and he pulled his blanket close. Amsum wondered, huh? why are we afraid of the dark? Determined to find the answer, Amsum shrank and entered his own brain. He landed inside a glowing maze where signals from the eyes rushed in. Normally, the eyes sent clear pictures, but without light, Huh? The signals grew faint and scattered. Just then, the faint signals twisted into frightening shapes. A chair appeared like a tall figure, and a toy seemed to have glowing eyes in the dark. The amygdala, the part that controls fear, lit up like an alarm. Messages racing through the body. Amsum's heart pounded faster, his muscles tightened, and he felt trapped in a maze of fear. Then, huh? Amsum noticed something important. The fear was not from real monsters. <laughs> it was the brain's way of protecting him. Long ago, when people lived in forests, darkness often meant danger from hidden predators. Those who stayed alert survived. Even now, when the room is safe, the brain still uses the same instinct, preparing for threats whenever vision fails. With that realization, smiling proudly, Aumsum now understood the mystery. Aumsum was standing in front of a mirror when he noticed a small bump on his throat. He pressed it gently and felt it move up and down whenever he swallowed. Curious, he wondered, why do men have Adam's apple? Determined to solve the mystery, with a spark of magic, he shrank down and entered his own neck. He landed outside a structure called the larynx, or voice box. It looked like a tower made of cartilage, protecting the vocal cords inside. Amsum noticed that at the front of the larynx, two large plates of cartilage joined together. At the meeting point, they created a firm bump that stuck out. This was the Adam's apple. Then, a glowing portal suddenly appeared. The portal carried him back in time to when he was a baby. At that stage, the larynx was small, and the bump in front was barely noticeable. As he moved forward in time, reaching puberty, he observed that the bump stood out more. Coming back in time, as the larynx grew bigger, the vocal cords inside became longer and made the voice sound deeper. This was why men usually had deeper huh? voices than women. In girls, the larynx also grew, but not as much. Amsum finally understood why men have Adam's apple. 